What's going on YouTube? Chris coming at you here with a Bloodborne tutorial. Kind of got like a four in one set up for you. I promised I would showcase the uh, stake driver as soon as I got enough strength to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, probably second favorite weapon in the game right now. Because I'm rocking it at plus six and it is doing some hella damage. I can one hit pretty much everybody in this area with it. I don't even think my saw cleaver is doing that much damage, and I also have that to plus six. Um, the reason I said this is kind of like a four in one, as you see, I'm in old Yarnum, aside from the showcase of uh, both the armor that I'm rocking and the weapon. I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill the son of a bitch up here on the clock tower. Old Yarnum here, the site of so much pain and suffering for so many of us the first time we come here. So many deaths to that bastard. Obviously, you're not going to be able to run down here and take these guys out here. You're going to want to be more cautious your first time here. But luckily, I have a... Uh, I'm going to show you guys a cheap... Kind of really, really super easy, effective means of killing the bastard. Because they give you such a small fight arena for him. I would uh, recommend going ahead and trying at least your first or second, maybe even third time, to go ahead and try and kill him if, like, the just standard way, legitimately. And then if you can't do it, go ahead and do it this way. Because it is as cheap as all get out, but... At least you can get past him. And get his gear, which is definitely worth it. I mean, you can skip him if you want to. But who wants to do that? I felt obligated to kill the guy after I've died probably five times to him, so I went ahead and killed him. Hello there. Um, after I show you guys how to kill him, I'm going to... Uh, Go ahead and show you guys how to get the rifle spear and the charred armor. The charred armor has the highest fire resistance that I've seen in the game so far on an armor. Well, with a name like charred armor, why wouldn't it? Though, you know, that's kind of contradictory. Charred armor. That leaves me to suspect that the dude who was wearing it got burnt to death, and yet it has the... whatever. I'm not going to question the logic of this game. Anyhow, so as soon as you get over here, you're going to climb up the ladder. Like I said, you do not have to fight the guy, but I felt obligated to kill him. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. If not, you can go around this way and keep going where you need to go. But I'm going to show you the cheap way to kill him. As soon as you get up here, uh, don't just pop right off the ladder. Because you can go ahead and get the jump on him, because you can go ahead and lock on before you even get to the top. So right here, you can go ahead and lock on to him, kind of see what you want to do, kind of get a familiar with the area. But as soon as you get up here, he is going to do one of two attacks. He is going to either charge at you with the stake driver, or he is going to shoot you. Either way, you're going to strafe this way. You're going to really want to get around him. And you're going to stand right here. Uh, you're going to want to evade from left to right here. Probably going to go left. Uh, you're going to want to bait out his stake driver charge. That is the attack that you want him to do. So you're going to kind of like bait that attack. Um, you might end up falling. I know I did to my death uh, the first time. <laughs> might take you two or three tries. But what you're going to do is you're going to, if you do the strafe effectively, he'll run straight past you and he'll fall off to his death. Um, he can rather fall, uh, as if you see, he can land on the concrete down there, or he can fall into the abyss and just die. Um, don't worry about it. If he if you can't pick up his uh, whatever he drops, he doesn't drop anything essential to his gear. You can still get the gear. He, uh, he drops 1,200 blood, I do believe, and you can automatically, after you kill him, you get access to his gear in the shops. Uh, you get his armor from the insight 
shop and you get his weapon from the merchant shop. From there, I'm going to show you guys how to get the rifle spear now and the charred armor. So preferably, after you've managed to kill him, you're going to come this way. You're going to have another hunter. He's going to be up here. He's really fast, really agile. Um, if you haven't killed him yet, you're going to lead him back down here. And the minigun guy can't target you, and you can kind of get him in a one-on-one -on -one right here. And then you can kill him. He's, he's not too hard. He doesn't hit very hard, but he is quick. He's hard to hit. And he does... Uh, he does parry you. But after you kill him, there's going to be this gap in the railing right here, and you can hop out. Kind of does like a stair step, and you can fall, uh, get to the bottom. Okay, so here we are in this place. Um, a good way to do it is run out here your first time, kind of aggro everybody as well as you can. And you want to lead them to the doorway. And you can kind of just uh, stun lock them here and kill the whole mob one at a time in the doorway. Makes it a lot easier because that way you're not getting surrounded and whatnot. Because these, uh, these guys can poison you. So... If you do end up getting poisoned, um, be sure you have some antidote on you. Because you aren't going to be this overpowered the first time you come here. So, I can't remember exactly. I'm like 90% sure you're going to get the rifle spear from this chest. Um, don't hold me to that. I know for 100% though that it is in this room. You're either going to get it from this chest, or it is going to be from a corpse up here. So, as soon as you get up here though, uh, you're going to... You're going to get the full charred armor off of this corpse here. And I'm not seeing another corpse. So yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure you get the rifle spear from the chest down there. If I'm wrong, uh, you can go ahead and just search around. It is in this room. I'm 100% sure of that. But you get the charred armor. It has the highest fire resistance in the game that I've seen so far. And that's going to help you with a lot of the fire-oriented bosses. God, fucker. As you can see, he killed me a minute ago. I was dicking around, wasn't paying attention. But uh, this loops back around to, uh, to where we started. But that's the video, guys. Uh, I hope you liked it and found it uh, found it helpful. If I missed anything or if I wasn't right about anything, you can go ahead and tag me in the comments for it. But uh, if you have anything uh, that you guys would like to have a video or a tutorial on, go ahead and leave that in the comments, too. And I'll go ahead and try to get a video up for that. Other than that, that's the video, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.